Do you know on average a plastic bag is used for only 25 minutes? It takes between 100 and 500 years to disintegrate. A whooping 1 million plastic bags are used around the world every minute and 80% of marine litter is plastic. An adult consumes between 126 and 142 tiny particles of plastic every day. This means that the problem of plastic isn't limited to just destroying the earth but human health as well. As it is totally impossible for a person to go zero waste all at once, starting bit by bit can help one reach the target of green lifestyle. No straw in your drink order. Do you know almost 500 million straws are consumed each day? Around 4.4 billion straws are thrown away every year in the UK alone. An estimated 7.5 million straws pollute US coastlines and 8.3 billion plastic straws on coastlines around the world. Plastic straws make up about 1% of plastic waste in the sea. This way, a small cutlery made out of plastic is a giant burden on the earth. So next time you go out for drinks, make sure to use eco-friendly straws or no straws at all. Use handkerchiefs and ditch tissues. Indian paper industry imports about 4 million tons of waste paper annually, which is 57% of its raw material requirement. On average, more than 34.7 million tissues are consumed by citizens each day. Using handkerchiefs is much better than wasting tissues and carrying them will not cause any additional burden. Support the second-hand market. Always try to donate unused items in good condition. Supporting a second-hand market will help reduce new plastic waste first-hand. And perhaps one of the most well-known benefits of buying second-hand is indeed cost cut. You can afford the same product at a comparatively less rate at second-hand goods are up to 50% cheaper. Turn old sheets into masterpieces. YouTube is flooded with thousands of DIY videos to reuse old sheets in a much better and convenient way. You can cut them into handkerchiefs, rags, napkin, or even cloth bags. You can knot up a boho style braid to make a brand new rag for your home. If you are too tired to do anything, you can also use them for mopping or cleaning. Create new clothes for your pets, make a wall hanging, create an apron, or make towel out of old sheets. Purchase items without plastic wrapping. The problem with plastic packing is that it is too much. You enter a supermarket and as wide as your eyes follow, all you can see are items wrapped beautifully in tons of plastic. This plastic waste can take up to 1000 years to degrade naturally. They end up in oceans, jungle and destroy our biodiversity. So it is much better to avoid purchasing items packed in plastic. Visit your old neighborhood farmer's market while carrying a cloth bag along and buy fresh produce at a much less price than the supermarkets. Save money and nature. Ditch disposable pads and tampons for cloth pads. About 12.3 billion tons of used pads are dumped into landfills in India every day. Most tampons contain harmful chemicals like dioxin, chlorine or rayon that can have detrimental effects on the environment. These chemicals soaked up by the ground and are further released as pollution into groundwater. So switching to a cloth pad or menstrual cup is much better than regular sanitary pads or tampons. They are comfortable, cheaper and eco-friendly. Plan meals and avoid food waste. Do you know India harvested a record of 284.8 million tons of food grains in 2018 and surprisingly we wasted up to 40% of it. So what happened as a consequence was that the basic human need food became a luxury. According to FAO estimates, in the state of food security and nutrition in the World 2019 report, 194.4 million people are undernourished in India. By this measure, 14.5% of population are undernourished. Thus, it is extremely important for us to reuse our leftover food, which cannot be learned better than Indian mothers. They can reuse simply everything, even the rotten can be DIY for other functional purposes. Apart from this, plan your meal for the entire week all at once so that you won't end up buying extra food. Order as much as you need, don't crave over varieties. Other steps could include planting a small home garden, using public transport, eating more vegetables and trying to cut on meat. In essence, going green is a journey that needs to be loved and appreciated and not rushed.